outside of work, I am a mum of a four-year-old girl, Eva, who is the absolute best. As a migrant myself, I can relate myself to her, what she was saying. I live many loved uh, family members, relatives, friends as well. But since I came to Australia, um, to, in the beginning it was a difficult actually, journey to me because a new system, a new culture. And we come with nothing. I said to the people, I come with five dollars. And when I, my daughter turned 21, I still yeah. have done five dollars. Amazing. And I have jewelry box. I put it in a jewelry box. For her 21st, I gave her the jewelry box and five dollars, she still got it. And I said, pass it on to your daughter. That's a legacy that you're passing on. You start with the five dollar. Because it's been hard. I met a client at Banksia Gardens Food Relief. Uh, that's a few months ago, and she was an old lady, 86 years old. And I, when I was just having a one-on-one -on -one conversation with her, she just came up and said, I'm having $900 in my purse at the moment. And I asked for what? I got a dental appointment. I asked what happened to her because uh, la previous day she fought, fell down and her some of her teeth broke in and started bleeding and she got kind of excruciating pain. Then I said, okay, don't worry, I'll just talk to the dental department and quickly I just made a call there and they said, uh, it's an emergency, of course, I can understand, but can you ask her to give a call tomorrow morning? Next day, she got an appointment. She just paid one, $150 only. She was really happy. Then I met her the next very day and she said, because of you, and um, I got this done there. I said, it's not because of me, it's a teamwork. It's a dental department also, they helped. So most of the deliveries we do is for the people that are with mobility issues or elderly. I have two kids. I have a girl and a boy. A year ago I was a stay at home mum. I was very closed off. I mean, it was actually very scary at the start. I didn't want to talk or anything, but over some time I like, built my confidence and now, now I'm fine doing door knocking. It made me get to know the community more. So I like, find out wh which people are most in need, like what they need support with and how some of them were too afraid or ashamed to come and reach out for support, but now like like it made them come out of their shell so now they see us every time and they share and they talk all the time yeah i personally get quite emotionally invested in our clients i i just want the best outcomes for them and it's quite difficult for me when they haven't managed to make it to their appointment due to not being able to pay for the bus not being able to call to say I'm running late because they don't have a phone. As a community navigator, my main role is to help, it's to make people's lives better and easier and make medical services more accessible. And for these clients, it really could mean the difference between suffering in pain and or attending an appointment and changing their life. Australia <laughs> متزوجة وعندي ثلاث أولاد حاليا معايا بأستراليا وزوجي فرحة كبيرة يعني في شيء بين وصف ممكن لو إحنا لو هذا الشيء ما شفنا لا بالعراق ولا بلبنان يعني ماكو هي شيء ترحيب يكون يحتضنوك بأنه ما يخلوك تحس بأنه هم استشاريين نفسيين أو أطباء كأنه هم عائلة ثانية يصيرون إلك Meeting someone like Petkana is truly relatable to my life as well because I'm a migrant myself. I know how long it took and what sort of barriers came across my way. And hearing what Petkana went through as well as how she has been uh, contributing to the community where that she is part of, it's truly amazing. <laughs>